Hi, Anna. This is Sandy Farrell. Uh, just joining you this evening to go over your rounds with Davina. And first of all, I just want to thank you for doing Clinics for a Cause. It's a great idea, and I feel very honored to be a part of it and be able to receive all these awesome videos and hopefully offer all of you riders out there a little bit of insight into my world and the world as a professional and all that kind of good stuff. So before we get started watching the video, I just wanted to say that both you and your horse were beautifully turned out, which is such an important thing in the hunter world. So I appreciate that so much, as would any judge out there. Kudos to you and your team and your trainer and everyone else involved in uh, getting you guys to this point. So your videos were quite lovely for the most part. So as I get these beautiful videos and I have to spend a lot of time writing notes and thinking, okay, what little subtle things could I possibly do to make this picture or this performance any better? And so I'm sorry if I'm a little delayed in getting back to you, but that's what I spend my time doing as we're hunkered down in Wellington, Florida. And although we have beautiful weather, we are all still spending a lot of time at home without a lot to do. So let's, uh, we'll get started with your video. I don't, I did not get a lot of details about your horse, uh, her age or how long you guys have been together or what your, you know, aspirations are as a team. So we're just going to kind of go with the flow as to what I can kind of figure out while we're watching. So here you're obviously doing a derby or of some sort. Um, so when your horse lands from the first jump, I, I think to myself, is she going to get a little more fresh as the round goes on? She's got a beautiful expression. Um, you ride her beautifully. You guys are very much in sync so far the first three jumps. Um, okay, now we start to see a little bit of the freshness. Uh, that doesn't surprise me that that came up because I just kind of thought going to the first jump, it looked like you had just a little bit of too much horse but you handled it well, you just kind of kept going, you didn't overreact. Again, you find the jumps very nicely. She's very attentive to her job. You have beautiful arm position, beautiful contact with the reins, good lower leg, which is great to see. Very good balance, because that was a little bit of a big jump and you stayed with her lovely. Probably just a little crooked getting into the two stride, but nothing nothing bad and again she looks a little fresh to me so me personally would like to see her just be a little bit softer a little bit of a shift on the way to that jump whether she was spooking or you know i'm not it's a little hard to tell what happened but again all in all like a super nice round you look very well mounted she was a little bit fresh you look very confident I'm gonna stop it right now for a second before we go to uh, the other two rounds. So that's based upon the, the derby round. So again, well-mounted, you're well-presented. You look like you, you each have a lot of confidence in each other. Just a little bobble here and there around the course. Definitely looked a little bit fresh, but I was so impressed that that didn't even phase you as you went around the ring. And I think that is really because you had such good contact with her mouth. Um, a lot of times when that happens around after a jump around a corner, riders tend the reins get long and they get all flustered and everything just kind of falls apart after that. And you kept your cool and you kept your connection. And yes, it happened, but yet you completed the rest of the course in a beautiful fashion. So that was awesome. So we're gonna go back to your other rounds now. And this is where I see probably the most, the most important thing I see for you as a rider that you can improve, obviously you ride very well, is that you're a little too quick to land from a jump, a single jump or land out of a line and start to turn. You know, I'm a big believer when I teach my students, when I ride my horses in the show ring, to complete every track as long as possible. And I'm gonna stop this again for just a second. So your first jump in this round, 
this is around just your normal hunter rounds when you jump the first jump your head turned too fast your horse turned too fast and it was just it made everything look a little bit quick the next jump you come around and you spend much more time on the landing you keep your head straight and it looked like a much very softer flowing picture going around that next turn okay we're starting back up so again your horse has a great expression she puts her her head in a nice position you stay with her jump lovely things are good and again just too too fast too fast with your head turning and then you had to kind of you know use your seat to make sure you got the lead change again finding the jumps is not an issue her position her presentation of her ears and her head and her eyes look also beautiful so it's just in these two rounds and we'll watch both these rounds and then i'll continue just a little quick with your body there at that deep jump much better but again it's the end of the course and you're kind of landing after the last jump with your head already turning so let's go watch the next round and then we'll talk about some of this stuff and this is all about riding your tracks and completing your tracks and the hardest job and most important job as a hunter rider is to keep your horse as straight as long as you possibly can so let's see how we do here a little fast with your head you could have kept looking forward there a couple strides longer reorganize your horse and then thought about turning remember you're in the ring you pay to be in there it's your time you don't ever want to rush your time in the ring let's see this turn so this turn was a little bit better this time with her because she landed right but again a little too fast to turn your head and think about getting to the next jump before you've completed that previous track nicer there better slower there with your head i love that she looks slower she looks more relaxed totally different than the time before and this could be you know round two of two rounds around one of two rounds i'm not really sure but the round in general looked softer and slower to me still a couple instances where you wanted to turn your head too fast but i liked it better than the previous normal hunt around so let's talk about that so um I'm a, I'm a huge believer in we never change tracks until we finish a track and this is a nice sized ring you have plenty of space and remember a horse jumps out of a line and we'll talk about lines for a minute obviously with more impulsion at the out than they probably had at the in in which case that means if you don't think about landing and slowing your horse down and getting organized you're going to get to that next jump probably with more impulsion than what you need so the ends of the rings are really where you have time to make some adjustments my fit one of my favorite words is decompress and decompressing means everybody just takes a deep breath it doesn't mean your horse falls out beneath you it doesn't mean you start going slower it's just everybody's like okay we just finished that so let's take a deep breath and then we'll get ready to move on to whatever's about to happen and that happens landing from that previous jump before you get to the first point of your turn so the end of your short end of your ring you're just you're just riding along like everything's great you're slowly getting ready to come out of the turn and make whatever adjustment is necessary for the next jump so the ends of the ring are of so much importance and i think a lot of times they get forgotten because as we're riding whether you're a young rider a nervous rider or whatever it might be everyone puts so much focus on the jumps and you're such an organized rider i don't really feel like you are finding the jumps is not a problem for you where you could perfect your ride professionalize your ride whatever you want to call it would be to continue your tracks don't turn your head till you have to look straight find a focal point and and, and before you even get to that focal point your horse and you are already thinking about decompressing 
and then you turn and then you have the short end of the ring and then you turn and then you're ready to go to the jump with a beautiful balance every all the stars are in a line and things are going to work out so that's where i would say you could perfect your ride a little bit more you have a beautiful feel of the range your reins don't constantly get longer and shorter i don't see you gathering your reins that's awesome your your leg is still a couple times there was one jump i think it was in the first hunter round where you're a little deep i thought you kind of rounded your shoulders a little bit too much especially it was a deep jump at a vertical where if you just kind of pulled your body away from the jump as your horse got there and just slowed your body down a little bit it would have made that image of that jump look a little bit better and again please remember these are not criticisms these are just things that i see based upon my philosophies of training and teaching my students and i'm all about the visual right because the hunter riders are about a visual your horse is your partner and you're in there in a partnership and it's like figure skating of which judges want to see you totally in sync and neither one of you interfering with the other one's performance or level of performance. So that being said, you know, the hardest job as a hunter rider is to do nothing and to wait and to wait and to wait in our bodies. That's what their job is to wait. So you are so close to being so great at that. So kudos to you. I don't know how long you've been riding. I don't know really anything about you. I don't know who you ride with or how long, whatever, it doesn't matter. But really throughout all those videos, it was a wonderful presentation. You have a very nice horse. You have a very bright future ahead of you. But all I can tell you, and I'm embarrassed to say this of my 49 years of riding, that never deviate from straightness and never sell yourself short on a track and ride those tracks and it will it will change you as a rider and it will change the rideability of your horse those decompression points are of the utmost importance i'm hoping you found this somewhat helpful insightful maybe you think i'm crazy it's all good either way but thank you again for doing clinics for a cause and for choosing me and Hopefully somewhere down the road at some point in time, we'll, we'll get to meet face to face and I wish you the best of luck and stay safe and stay healthy.